trigonometric identities, reciprocal identities. This is the very first set of identities which you need to know to prove trigonometric identities, okay? And that's the basic. It relates your primary trigonometric ratios with the other three, which are reciprocal ratios, right? Of those primary ones. So let's look into this using a standard right angle triangle, correct? So here is a triangle. Now in this triangle, we have the angle theta here, that is the opposite side, so I'm saying O for opposite side, right? And A for adjacent and H for hypotenuse, got it? I could use X, Y coordinates, but I'm not trying to use them because I want you to remember Sokatoa for the time being, right? So what is Sokatoa? Sokatoa gives us relation for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So this is my basic Sokatoa which you need to remember to always remember what is basic trigonometric ratios, the primary trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine and tangent, right? Now, so sine is opposite over adjacent. But what is cosecant? Cosecant is reciprocal of sine. And what is secant? Secant is reciprocal of cos. And cotangent is reciprocal of tangent, right? So this is how these relations are related, right? So now what we can do is we can go either way. That is, we can say what is 1 over sine theta? So we know what is sine theta. So let's start with the right side. So this is how you have to prove identities. Okay, so I'm following the same rules which will help you to prove identities. So this is an equation to prove that this side is always equal to that side. This side means the left side, that is the right side. Okay, so we have to prove that left side is equal to right side. This is what we need to do. So what we can do is we can start from any particular side. So let's start from right side in this case. So we say, well, let's start with right side, okay? So what is right side? The right hand side of this equation is one over sine theta, good. Now, what is one over sine theta? We can write one over sine theta is one over, let's consider this triangle, okay? In this triangle, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, O over H. So we write this as O over H, good. Now, one divided by O over H can be written as, let me write here, can be written as 1 times h over o. Perfect, that's right. So, what is h over o? h over o is cosecant theta. Oh, this is cosecant theta and that's what is on our left side. So that's left side. Now, since right side is equal to the left side, we have proved this identity, which is reciprocal identity. Reciprocal of cosecant theta is sine theta. Reciprocal of sine theta is cosecant theta. Perfect. You can use the same set of rules to prove uh, the other two, right? Now I will use the coordinate system. Let's say this is a point P and let that point P be x, y, right? If point P on in the first quadrant is x and y, then x means what? x means this distance, correct? So this distance from here to here is x and y means this distance, is it okay? So y is this distance and let h be our hypotenuse for the time being and h will be equal to what? Our h will be equal to x square plus y square square root. Let me write it like this, x square plus y square square root. So that is our hypotenuse, correct? Now. From this triangle, what is cosecant theta? So what we are doing here is, I'm trying to prove this reciprocal identity using the coordinates. That's very important, right? Now look here, how we do it. So we say, right side for us is one over cos theta. So let me write one over cos theta here, okay? Which is equals to one over, now what is cos theta using x and y? 
adjacent which is x do you see from here to here it is x so it is x over hypotenuse h is it okay x over h now 1 divided by x over h can be written as 1 times h over x is that okay hypotenuse over x now what is h over x h over x is secant theta so this is how the reciprocal of cos theta is defined so we have proved which is the left side since right side is left equal to left side both sides are equal it's an identity got it right that's how it is now we can prove the third one and I'm using another approach to do it just to teach you different ways of doing the same thing right so we can write well 1 over tan theta I'm just expanding it here itself instead of rewriting so I'm working with the the right side okay oh we can work with the left side also this time so this time we'll work with the left side cotangent theta so what is cot theta cot theta is adjacent over opposite side so how much is adjacent side adjacent is from here to here which is x so we say well left side is cot theta which is x over o fine now i can write x over o as 1 divided by o over x is it okay perfect so o over x o over x i should have written y and just mixed them up okay o over x so what is 1 over o over x o over x is tan theta so okay so it is 1 over tan theta okay so we got cot theta equals to tan theta which is the right side so you could start from left or right side you will lead to the same result and that is what reciprocal identities is okay I just mixed them for you just to give you a good look at it how we can see the same thing from different angles okay we could have written instead of h square root of x square plus y square also it is helpful at times if I give you a coordinate let's say p is 2 comma 3 and tell you well what is cos of theta so if I say p is let me write down here just it's not identities I know but let's say if p is a point 2 comma 3 then we say what is cos theta so cos theta you'll use 2 and then divide by 2 square plus 3 square square root you know so sometimes that is also useful anyway so we have done the first of the four basic identities which you need to know to prove trigonometric identities go through the other three also and then have about 100 examples for you on trigonometric identities which will make you an expert on this topic i hope you like it and share with your friends put your comments and do all your best thank you